championship. And rounding into form as we hit the midway point of the season, it'll be Queen Egbo and Azure Stevens to get us underway. Really thread the needle right there. That's that a passing ability that I love to talk about for Kelsey Mitchell is one of her biggest areas of the game. Oh, Robinson volleyball knocked to the head. And there's Melissa Smith who lays it in. Robinson has so much depth, so much balance. Even without Candace Parker, they've had six different leading scores this year as Smith on the fake and Smith with a floater. And there's a couple things in that possession right there that made that offense there are right there. A few players that have a similar story to hers this year. It's been one of the really fun storylines to follow in the WNBA this year as Smith cross it over and knock it down a foul line jump shots. You got the chance uh, to play. Smith taking it at V. Smith. Smith gets to the rim and lays it in. Time and time again, Pat, just that ability for Kelsey Mitchell to get hot. You know, she sees one go through and, and the second and the third. Next thing you know, she's off to the race. Oh, there's Smith on the aggressive take. A little shout out to the Chicago bench. Steven, the shot fake, steps back on Smith. Smith taking it right back at Stevens. There's Smith with the finish. I forget how well she handled the ball. Anderson off balance. There's Robinson pulling down the rebound. And a much better start to the third for Indiana. Mitchell whips it inside. And it's quick six, one, six quick ones for Melissa. The rookie fourth overall pick. Smith staying aggressive, pulls up, and knocks it down. Melissa Smith with 18 points. And here for the Fever. Yeah, even though nobody touched it, it would have been an over and back had she went to go get it on the other side of that half court. Mitchell over to Smith. No, Melissa Smith buries a three. Yeah, she certainly took her time there. And, and Smith the shot fake, Smith the drive, and the floater. Oh, the smooth. Shot that they can get. They look the direction of Melissa Smith on a career high. Smith turns, spins, draws the foul. Gets it to go. Big time play by a big time player, Pat. That was just, that couldn't have went any better. She knew, they knew who to get the ball to, and she knew. So now, Alyssa Smith has tied this game already with a career high of 25. And she can put the fever in front. Smith is just a 50% WNBA. She's not missing that. Vandersloot pulls up. Vandersloot is open. That won't go. Wow. And Indiana wins it. Wow. Vandersloot got a late look. But the Fever overcome a 15 points second half deficit and earned their fifth win of the season in dramatic fashion. To talk about in this one, but I just want to start with what your emotions are like. That was tense, it was exciting, you were in so many key plays down the stretch, and to come away with it victorious. Uh, man, it's just exciting. You know, everything the fever I've been through, you know, it's just an exciting time for us. Yeah, man, I, I see you playing out there with a lot of emotions. I mean, can you just tell us a little bit how fun it is right now for you to get out and play with a, a great crowd behind you? Like I said, it's an exciting feeling. You know, you got your team backing you, you got the fans backing you, so, you know, we just want to get out here and just keep doing it. Yeah. It seems like, Nalissa, over the last couple of weeks, you have found a new level of confidence. Is that what you're experiencing here in this recent run of play? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, just coming in as a rookie, you want to make your mark. So I feel like every single game, I'm just trying to leave my mark here. Yeah, man, and I see your teammates is really giving you the ball, uh, especially down the line there. And with that big shot, I mean, what, what, were you, what was going through your head? I just knew I had to make it. <laughs> <laughs> right. They came to me, so I was like, you know, you just got to keep doing what you've been doing the whole game. Right. What changed things for you all in the third quarter? That was clearly not the second quarter you wanted. Uh, but not only do you earn a win tonight against the defending champions, you do it by overcoming a 15-point third quarter deficit. Oh, uh, yeah. We know we struggle with the third quarter every single game. So, we know, we put, like, super, like, um, just focus on the third quarter. So, you know, we came in here, we executed the third and the fourth, and that's why we got the win. Well, 26 points, 11 rebounds, and a come-from-behind victory. For you, Nalissa Smith, congratulations. We'll let you join your teammates in the locker room. Thank you.